What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on the Chao again. This bike can be finished pretty easily and what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the controls. The nice thing that I'm not doing tutorials anymore, I can do whatever I want, I can do all kinds of stuff. Plan for today is uh, get the controls working right, get the back wheel off, check the brake system, all, all that, clean it, lube it, make it work perfect again because for now when I use the back brake it locks up and it stays locked up you have to wiggle it around to get it loose again so we can clean the cable but what is the point of cleaning the cable if you're not gonna clean the whole brake mechanism because you can pull the rope but if the weight is not yeah lubricated or moves easily What's the whole point? So that is what we're going to do. I attempted this in a previous video, but I didn't know how to do it. But now I know. What I'm first going to do, I'm going to remove the exhaust because I'm going to need to take off the exhaust. Of course, we're going to work on the exhaust itself because where the pipe connects to the cylinder head, the pipe is too big and the exhaust port is too small. So we can get a, we cannot get a nice seal and maybe we'll fix that, but we are gonna have to search for parts. See, you can take it off just like that. Pretty dirty and rusty exhaust. Don't know if I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with this bike because for the moment now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bike. The plan for this bike in the beginning was to enter the Red Bull race, what, what it's called, Red Bull all the way. Uh, I was gonna enter that race, gonna do the whole bike, get it up and running, get tags, get uh, insurance, all that. But this is an A-class. As you can see from the yellow tag, it's an A-class and Red Bull doesn't want A-classes in their race. So that plan was broken. So. At this point, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bike. Now to disassemble the whole brake system, whatever you wanna call it, you have to take off this. Put a piece of wood between the spokes and the frame and I already loosened it and then you can just loosen that up. I wish I knew that before, but yeah. Uh, what I may be gonna do, I'm gonna leave it on here so the whole assembly doesn't fall out. Take the piece of wood out of here. Now, where did I put that block that I used the last time that I attempted this? It's this one. I remember the holes. So it can go right here. Okay. How did I do that the last time? Think like this. Get the block of wood down. Hey. Now we got our wheel right here. This is loose. Then take off this. The bearing looks pretty nice. Now let's see. Oh my god, it slides off. Now the big mystery is the two bricks or one brake. I got a new brake, but thank god. It is one and it's the right one. I got a new brake, so we're gonna put that in there, but look at how oily that is. Now the center of the wheel. Man, the lighting is shit in here. But the center of the wheel looks pretty dirty. So we're gonna clean that up, clean the wheel, clean the tire, do whatever. Then the brake should be perfect again. But as you look at this, it's so oily and greasy. I'm just gonna clean it up, disassemble it and clean it up. I'm not gonna film the whole process of disassembling it and degreasing it. You guys know it is. You can check out my other videos. I'm gonna spend some time cleaning this all up and I'll see you guys later. Okay, two hours later, this is where we're at. I got into a little problem. Let me show you. So when I was trying to remove the brake, I noticed, man, there's a lot of oil on this part. What is happening? Now, what was happening is that there's a whole gearing system inside of that hub and gearing need gear oil. But 
what there is there is a small breather hole in the part and it started leaking i'm like okay i cannot clean this part the way i want it to but so let's take it apart so i took it apart try not to break the gasket and this happens now at first glance the gasket looks pretty fine but when you look right here yeah it is broken so at this point i'm all in i took it apart cleaned every single gear every single washer every single spring and this is where we at so here is everything the housing look at this all nice and pretty again degreased this part and every single gear everything is cleaned ready to go back in now the problem that i'm now having is i cannot assemble it the right way i don't have the gasket i don't have the gearing oil i don't have the uh, seals so i'm gonna have to start shopping for the parts this was not planned uh, it was just gonna clean the part put the new brake in put it all back together but now it's come to a little bit more so that is still drying because there are lots of small needle bearings in there and i want all the water to be evaporated be before i want to assemble it yes i'm gonna assemble it today because i need the chassis into a roller this means that i'm gonna have to take out the wheel again on a later time now you all seen how difficult it is i have to tilt it on the side and pull the wheel back out and if i'm gonna have to do that two more times I don't want to do it that way. So I started looking at the whole back section and pretty much this, this fender is a two part piece. You can remove all this and this and then you have just this strut bar, uh, the place to clamp it and this small fender. But everything like the whole back section can come off. So I started thinking if I have to remove the wheel again and clean it because it's very dirty inside of here, I might as well remove all this to make it a little bit more easy. I can clean it. I can see what I have to fix. Uh, I'm going to remove this bar as well because at this point, yeah, let's go. Let's go all in. Wasn't planned to do this, but that's how it goes. So let's just start on disassembling this whole part. There was a time that I thought I was gonna do a simple cable loop job. That escalated quickly. So now it's time to put back all this mess, the gearing. Now there are bearings right here. So what I'm gonna do, I got this syringe filled with bearing grease. I use Griffin bearing grease. So if you're interested, go get this. This is what I use. I always go Griffin. Now this is not the final assembly. I took a video when I was taking it apart. When you're doing something that you've never done before, always do that. So what I'm first gonna do is put some bearing grease in here. Now I'm gonna have to check the video <laughs> to see where the gearing goes this part goes right there so 
we have a washer. This goes right here. Let's check further. This one goes right here. That one goes here. And this one goes over here. Washer, washer, washer. Okay, that looks good. Now for the whole spring mechanism, this one goes here. I remember this. I'm a dumbass. Found it. Okay, this side up, I think. Yeah, that looks right. Again, small little dabs. Two dabs right here. I'm gonna put the old gasket in because I don't want to damage the, uh, the two parts. Now all this needs to come together. Perfect. I'm just gonna tighten it a little. Don't wanna go full force on it. It still rotates. Let's check free mode. And that doesn't move, put it out, clicks in, perfect. Now we can assemble the brake. Let's see if we remember this. It's a little bit tricky. Man, that's a lot of play. Okay, the lever is on, now the new brake. Now, Let's put the spring on. This is gonna be such a good time putting that spring on. Let's put it on the floor. Oh, no, I know how I, how I did it. Let's put it in here. Okay, that is absolutely a two-man job, but yeah. <laughs> All nice and working again. Let me get the wheel. Let's see if it works. Yeah, brakes work perfectly. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scuff up the inside where the brake pad makes contact with a little bit of Scotts Bright. Reassemble the whole piece and reassemble the wheel. I'm gonna put a little bit of bearing grease on this gear. Well, not really gear, but it's a locking mechanism. So when we need to take it out, it comes out nice and easy. Reassemble. Okay. Okay, normally this goes here but it looks so dirty. I'm just then gonna clean it up. Okay, that's clean enough. Let's put it back. Still runs freely. With this, I'm not really bothered with how it looks. There it is. All nice and pretty again, back. Let's put it back in. Okay, let's see if it's easier to put the wheel in. Come on, brake cable. If only I can put it a little bit higher. Maybe what I can do, snug this a little bit. Of course, with no oil, it's a little bit stiff. Oh my God, the brake is so responsive right now. And it works again. I have to say, I like the look of it without the whole fender. I mean, that looks, that looks dope. There is a modification that you can do to make it look like that, but I don't know how it works. I haven't really dig into that, but yeah, it is clean. It's not lubricated. It is clean right now. Okay, so we are back where we need to be. Uh, from home, I got the old spark plug. Uh, cap And now we don't have to steal the spark plug cap from the RCX. Okay 
another progress. Getting pretty tired right now. Uh, finally, some rest. I'm gonna stop it right here. I did enough stuff to the chow to be satisfied. Now I'm gonna have to order some parts. Um, the oil for in the gearing system, the gasket, the uh, seals, the two seals that are in there. And while I'm there, I'm gonna buy some other stuff. I'm gonna buy the chain because the chain broke in a in the first video. A spacer to go between the exhaust and the cylinder head because my old exhaust doesn't work. I need to buy a new exhaust because it is rusty but I don't want to do that right now. I want to finish the bike and then put some other new stuff on it because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bike when it's back running full finished and yeah works perfectly starts goes lights everything so yeah it was fun today but i didn't expect to have that much work we couldn't even lubricate the cables and that was the whole point of of today didn't expect to do that but it was necessary it was something that i was gonna do in the future but it's right now so uh, i guess i'm gonna order the parts from motorkit.com where i bought parts for the rcx i guess they have parts for for piaggio i also have another website from holland i think their services are better still on our to-do list is lubricate everything take the front end apart the whole front end we did the back end right now we need to do, still need to do the front end because the front end have the same problem the brakes lock up and they don't return the cable is rusty i might while i'm ordering parts just buying new cables maybe that will be the better choice instead of lubing them but i will see what the total amount of all the parts that i need to buy is i need to order lights still i need to order a lot of parts to get this bike up and running new tires because the old tires are not safe anymore but i want to progressively buy stuff i just want to make it running so so basically the gear oil uh, the gasket uh, seals chain spacer that is going to be my main concern of ordering the parts so i hope you enjoyed this video me working on my first ever moped my first two wheels with an engine also while i'm touching this the front fender is broken maybe order that yeah this is gonna need a lot more videos until it's rideable so yeah that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are not already and follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and i will see you in the next one Get down!